Hello and welcome back folks, Air of Carthage here, and I have something interesting for you. Yesterday, uh, AMD released a new Radeon video driver that included a new tool called Radeon Super Resolution, which is basically a way in every game to upscale a game and try and get better frame rate performance, and I tested it on Warhammer 3, and what you're seeing here side by side on the left is the uh, Radeon Super Resolution upscaled version. This is um, at... Uh, it's actually upscaling from 1080p. The graphic settings are on high, and on the right-hand side is native 1440p, also graphic setting high. So on the left, Radeon Super Resolution is taking 1080p and upgrading it to 1440p, and on the right, my computer is just running it natively with no resolution scaling. Um, you can see there is a massive frame rate difference between the two and it results in a 47% increase in frame rate. Now, the reason I put this side by side is I wanted you all to see, can you see the difference? I've noticed a few very small, subtle differences, but folks, this is, this is very near identical coming across here. So I wanted to call this out to anybody who is using a Radeon graphics card that if you install the latest driver released on March the 17th, you can look um, for instructions. I'll leave a link online for how to enable Radeon Super Resolution, but this is a way to get a massive boost to frame rate performance. Um, and that's something that is probably sorely needed by a lot of people. I've got a $1,500 graphics card. It's top of the line AMD graphics card, the 6900 XT. And sometimes I'm getting a low frame rate in this game. And so I just wanted to bring this to people's attention here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is going to be Radeon Super Resolution upscaling in Ultra. Now you may have seen in the graphics settings it said 1080p back there. It's because that's the way this works. You set it to a lower resolution like 1080p and then Radeon Super Resolution upscales it to the size of your monitor and my monitor is 1440p. So anyway, just wanted to get this out there to you all and let you see it. Um, as far as the Ultra settings, it went from like a 72 or 74 average frame rate and I want to say this one ends in the 90s. We'll see when we get to the end of it. But this is the upscaled. So this is Warhammer 3 running um, upscaled. And, and this, see that glitch right there where it turned green? I don't know why that happened. I haven't played enough game to know if this happens a lot in game. And this is something to be looked into. Um, because there could be glitches like this um, whenever you use this. I didn't see it when we ran the high version. It happened on Ultra for some reason don't know why that is. I'd have to play the game like this some more, and I intend to. But all I'm getting across with this is that, I mean, maybe there are a few glitches. Even still, this is a huge frame rate increase uh, when you're looking at what Radeon Super Resolution does. So if you have an AMD graphics card and you're playing um, Warhammer 3, see it did it again right there, the green. So that's something I'll have to investigate. Uh, like I said, I didn't see that on high. It only did it on ultra. Um, but this is something I want to investigate further. If you have a Radeon graphics card, and you've downloaded the latest driver, um, go look at those instructions that I'll link in the description and try this out. It's a way that you can get a much increased frame rate in Warhammer 3, and honestly, other than that green glitch there on Ultra, I haven't seen a whole lot that differentiates the two. It's gonna require more playtime to know for sure, but I thought you all would find this interesting. Air of Carthage, signing out for now. I'll see you soon with some more content.